Welcome to Airsoft Reports. Today, we're going to give you a comparison test of several Echo One products. All right, let's introduce the guns. You've probably seen them before because we've reviewed them before, but today we're going to show you how they compare against each other. First on deck, we've got the Echo One MP5J. Then we've got the Echo One G36C, and finally, the Echo One M4A1. Now we're going to show you how fast they shoot and how they compare accuracy wise to each other. All right, first on deck we've got the Echo One MP5J. Let's see how fast it shoots in semi. First shot, 339. Second shot, 341. 339. 341. 338. Okay, safe to say it's right around 340 FPS. All right, you've seen how fast it fires. We're looking at about 340 FPS. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out each target using semi-auto mode. We'll probably fire between four to six shots per target to give you a good idea of the accuracy. Here we go. All right, next in the lineup, we've got the Echo One G36C. First shot comes in at 347, 349, 347, 336, finally 345. It's interesting to note with this gun, we've seen the most variation in feet per second. Um, it consistently shoots between 330 and 350 feet per second. Sometimes we'll get a string of five BBs, all of which are 350 feet you know, per second. Sometimes we'll get strings that are right around 335, 330 FPS. So it's a great gun, but it does have a variation um, you know, in terms of its velocity. Let's take a look at the range and see how accurate it is. All right, last but certainly not least, we've got the Echo One M4 A1 carbine. First shot, 354. 355. 54 again. 353. 352. Okay, so, so far, the M4 is the fastest shooting of the bunch consistently.
All right, you've seen what they can do on semi. You've seen generally how accurate each of the three is. But we all know that the most fun setting is full auto. So we're gonna give you what we like to call an average engagement simulation. We're gonna take a look at the 75 foot target. That's what we're gonna shoot at for all three of them so you can get a good idea of the average operating range that you're gonna encounter with most airsoft guns. So let's take a look. We're gonna see how these things can uh, fire. We'll fire a couple strings of full auto and, and you'll, you can decide for yourself. So we've had some fun here today and we've learned a few things. Just because the barrel isn't as long as the others doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to suffer from an accuracy perspective in airsoft. What this means is our little MP5J came in as accurate, if not more so, than the G36C. It was also on par with the M4A1, although we did see that the M4 outranged both of these two on the 100 foot and even on the 150 foot targets. Rate of fire for all three is comparable. Expect the manufacturer specifications to be about right. 800 rounds per minute is what they say and that sounds, based on our tests, about right. Velocity did vary somewhat, although it wouldn't be always as you expect. The MP5J came in at about 335 to 345 FPS. The G36C saw a deviation from 330 FPS all the way up to 350 FPS. And the M4A1 consistently pulled a 355 FPS uh, score. So you can see that the M4A1 is the gun of choice if you've got a lot of foliage to go through or maybe lots of leaves, whatever it is. Accuracy, however, did also deviate on the M4. Although we did find that there were several shots fired that were very accurate, we also had a lot of outliers, even at close range, so we don't believe that that was wind related. Sometimes we'd fire a string of three BBs, the fourth would fly completely off target. This could be just, you know, this particular model, or maybe it's indicative of the entire line. We're going to have to test some more to find out, but that'll have to wait for another comparison test. If we had to score them, it would be close, but I think we would probably go MP5J, G36C, and only because of those flyers, the M4A1 would probably pull in a close third. Hopefully this information will help you making a good buying decision, or maybe just provide an interesting thing to watch on uh, YouTube. Either way, we've had a great time making these tests, and um, we've got a little bit of extra ammo, so we've got one test left over. I think you'll like. Let's take a look. That just wasn't his day, was it? 